What's up, guys? Welcome back to the second hour here of Roleplay Solemn. Neil, I think we were all splitting up to go do something. Yep. <clears throat> what are you guys doing? I'm headed to the brothel. All right. Standard. So, yeah, just I like mean, that's standard just, weekend. That's just what I do. Uh, Jockery's going to find some herbs or something, or maybe not. I'm not sure. Sounds just like what Jockery does. Yeah. Ryan's going to go uh, understand what it's like to be with someone, right? Is that accurate? You're muted? Oh, yeah, you are? Okay, cool. Uh, You're muted. <laughs> so, is, so, so is Jim, but yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Wait, we, we Not going to stand yeah, alone on that. Uh, yeah, yeah I, well, I was going to make a joke that she was muted and then I was muted, so it just canceled oh, I didn't, out. Oh, I didn't even realize Ryan, or Jen was muted. Anyways. Um, but yeah, uh, I was going to go get some clothes um, while you were at the brothel, I think. Okay. Jen, what were you saying while you were muted? Oh, yeah, you're still muted. Oh, okay. You got to fix your headset. So, Neil, I go and find the brothel. And to do so, I drop some thieves' cant at uh, some seedy places. Oh, yeah. I mean, the brothel is pretty obvious. You don't even have to do thieves' cant. Like, oh, okay. So I like start talking. Like, hey, where, where are the whores? And boom, done. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But, and I don't say whores. I say in thieves' cant, whatever that is. All right. Yeah. Uh, you get directed to... The money to... holes. Let's say that. There are six... <laughs> There are six Money brothels holes. in town. Yeah. Six, six brothels? brothels? Holy oh, yeah. shit. Uh, what is the most well-known? And I ask for it by name. The highest end. The highest, the highest end. end brothel. It's, it's actually called the highest end. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> um, it is Can called you hear the... Me? Yes, yes. Yes. Yay! The... Uh, the Silky Maiden. Okay. I, I walk into the Silky Maiden. Uh, before Perfect I do, I, <laughs> I, I lick my hand and kind of like uh, make sure my hair is, is good looking and uh, go inside. <clears throat> Your hair is always good looking. I know. I'm just making sure, Neil. Right, yeah. In case the wind blew it roll bad because you had a bad roll or something. I don't know. All right, all right. You walk in and immediately you're greeted by a... A lovely, beautiful, busty woman who comes up to you in fine silks and says, My little lord, do we have something for you here tonight? Uh, what would perhaps, you like? but, uh, you know, tonight I'm just looking for some information, although I might partake a little bit later. We are a place of flesh, not knowledge. Well, actually, you are a place of knowledge of the flesh, which is what I'm here to find out. Um, you know the prince is in town, correct? Of course. Do you uh, perhaps know, or maybe you guys have uh, made some arrangements? And I kind of like, I, I have a coin and I'm flickering it in between my hands as I say this. What type of coin? Uh, it's a gold piece. She watches it and she says, I believe his lordship is, how do you say, uh, a celibate man. Hmm. So, that, uh, hmm. I, I kind of like catch the coin the in my hand. Power is out the window. <laughs> I catch I catch the coin in my <laughs> hand. I'm just like, is this on good authority? He's never married nor sired any children. I know of no relations he's had, and I've never heard of him taking a woman. Uh, but a prince's business is his own, so I may be mistaken. If I look around, do I only see uh, women? Oh no, they're men. But the, men, the men are parts. Oh, okay, okay. Oh no, there there are like young boys wearing nothing, just like lounging about. I get uh, I get another coin out and uh, kind of like like if as if they were poker chips, uh, rotate them in my in my hand, and I kind of like look towards the. Uh, I tilt my head towards the the little boys running around, and I'm like really celibate, and I'm just kind of like twiddling the the gold. I. Uh, I do not know him personally. His lordship has never visited us. This is what I've gathered. I would very much love for him to come and take one or two or three of my ladies. Hmm. Well, I suppose you gave me some information. However, I, I feel like you're, you're holding back. Perhaps we should sit somewhere more comfortable. And she ushers you to a cush, uh, not a cush, a... Uh, a what the fuck? Uh, a very, 
<laughs> a very <laughs> nice uh, 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 <laughs> couch. Quick, like come a, in, a, little one. <laughs> just like, whoa. <laughs> she just sits on you and you are enveloped. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, my, my swagger is much of a pimp as I have a, a, as if I would have a, uh, what's it called? A figurative cane. I'm walking like that towards the couch. So she walks you over to the couch. There's some nice drapes and curtains and rug and, you know, you guys sit down. And she leans in close, puts her arm around you and is being, you know, overly flirtatious as such ladies would be. And says, now, if you wish for information, perhaps you should just speak more bluntly. And... She kind of gives a glance down to you. Can't tell whether it's your package or your purse. Okay. You think it's your package, but you know my package of coins, right? Yeah. 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 I, uh, package. I, I I looked to her and I was like, "Well, I have a friend that put it pretty well. Uh, does he like uh, corn? You know, corn on the cob up his ass." <laughs> <laughs> Gets right to the point every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that JP is like so pretty right now. Yeah, and I, I kind of like bat my eyes as I say that, and I'm just going like this with my hand. <laughs> she um looks like she's trying to suppress a giggle, and says, "Um, I don't know. That could possibly explain why he's never taken a woman. I doubt a lord would be. Uh, how do you say?" I don't think it would look very good if a lord were to take a, a boy to his side publicly. Hmm. I've known many lords to do so in private, but... Now, if I think back, who told us that? Where did we get that info from that he favors? The tavern the tavern you were staying at earlier, the merchant tavern. Did we pay good for that info? Did we, or no, well? someone was just having a conversation. Oh, I thought Jeff just made it up on the spot. No, 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 someone, thing. someone told them that. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't say corn on the cob. <laughs> that's just how Jeff. <laughs> that's Jeff. <laughs> that's how Jeff phrased it. Um, that's so, a job oh, done. Okay, so she, um, I kind of like lean back and put my hands uh, to the best of my ability. Although I don't know how big this couch is, so it might look really awkward with a. It, it's plenty big. With a three foot tall person just putting his hands back on the back of it, um, and I say so. You haven't heard anything of that sort? What, what I'm looking for is... is I kind of like lean forward. I'm like, I'm looking... My, my friend really, 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 really wants to meet the prince. And uh, I thought doing so um, through one of one of the service, much like the one you have here, would probably be the best. I see. Well... She licks her lips and says... I know for a fact that one of his guards has come by here earlier this evening. I could arrange a letter or communication between you and this man if you have something that might perhaps get their attention and allow you to meet with the Lord. Hmm. There would be a uh, service fee, of course. Of course, of course. I... I need to make sure that my, my friend is okay with this. Um, I don't want to do anything that he's not... I thought your friend, as you say, liked corn in the cob up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I Trust me. He has no Which, issue with by that. by the way... If, trust me. Any Look, any before, straight thing. Sometimes he does, starts messing with his daggers. It gets real fucking weird sometimes. You know how it goes. You deal with it daily here, I'm sure. Uh, she puts a claw, one of her long nails, sharply against your neck and says, Yes. I know how people sometimes like the sharp things. I kind of okay. like look down and I'm just, I, I'd slowly move her hand away. And uh, just like, um, look, you've, you've been great with info. We, I, sorry, I say we, and then I say I, I might, uh, I might be back later tonight for this service or others. Um, but you've, you've given me more than enough information. Um, please take this. And I, I hand her, uh, I hand her what? How much odd gold do I have? I hand her four gold. Okay. She puts her hand on top of yours and like puts it down against the sofa to make it like more discreet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and takes the gold from you and says, "Well, we will be here all night if your lordship would like to come back for a visit. 
perhaps at some of your friends? I, I shall... Serve all kinds. I shall, of course, ask. Uh, I'm not... We shall see. We shall see. Regardless, I think I'll definitely be returning uh, a little bit later tonight. And uh, I stand up, and like I'm standing up straight, and then I drop my back, and I pimp walk out of there. <laughs> all ridiculous looking. And walk out and go back to the bar. And she took the gold, right? Yeah. Did I say four? Is that what I said? Four. Okay. All right. And I'm just going back to the bar. So if anyone else has stuff they're doing. I'm just watching uh, the bar that he's at. Just kind of like uh, leaning up against a wall across the street or whatever and just watching. Okay. You're watching for 45 minutes when one of the guards in the blue cloaks uh, steps out and starts walking down the street uh, towards in the direction that you had come from before, like towards the, the, the middle level tavern in town. I shadow him. You follow him? Mm-hmm. Okay, he walks down that way. Um, I don't cross these these two, right? This is a, a different time. Yeah, this is happening. Well, uh, sure. Uh, all right. So you're walking with him for a little while, and he kind of stops at some point and turns around and kind of looks at you. I keep walking. Okay. All right, as he sees you, like, you know, walk past him. He kind of just watches, and you walk past him, and he picks up and keeps walking after you. Like, not, you know, like, beelining yeah. on you, but he's like, all right, he's, it's fine. As he's in full plate mail, I just kind of listen for his feet, and if I hear him change direction, then I'll okay. change direction. But otherwise, I just kind of mosey about. He, he's got uh, a pretty steady jingle to him from all the heavy armor and yeah. the sword, his scabbard's clacking against his leg. Uh, he walks for a little ways and then turns down an alley, uh, down a side street after a bit. Okay, then I fall again. All but right, like, you... this time I, I know he's aware of me, so I'm giving All him right. more distance. So you turn around, poke your head down the alley. It's more of a side street, it's not that narrow. And you see him knocking on a door in the alley. Um, and he kind of looks around for a little bit. Uh, you pull your head back as he starts looking about. Uh... And then the door opens. You, th at this point, your head's not looking down, but you hear the creak of the door open and some whispers that you can't quite understand. And by the time you poke your head around, you see him walking into the building. He walks in. Mm -hmm. It's just a nondescript building. From the side street, it, it would be the building on the opposite side of the block of the side street. So you, it's hard. if you walk across through the side street, you can tell what the building is from the other side. As he goes in, then I do that. I walk okay. over. Uh, it looks to be a barn or a stables of sort. And is it, is it like door and then building sealed type of thing? Uh, yeah, it's two big double doors that you'd find on a standard barn. Oh, it's that kind of barn. Yeah, uh, it's a it, barn. I look for like any kind of window or something like that that I could duck underneath and listen into or peek into. Yeah, there is some glass on front. Um, and there, there's actually some light emanating from inside. You can look in, and you see by the lantern light uh, the same guard talking to a man, and they are walking through some stables. You notice that the very back of the stables is a fairly large caravan, uh, not caravan, wagon, like a nice, fancy wagon. Um, one of those, like, you know, where you'd have, like, a rider up front all prim and proper. It's a carriage. There we go. A carriage. Carriage. Also. Okay. But it's just a carriage by itself, maybe some horses. Yeah, it's a carriage by himself. There's some horses in some stables, and they're looking at the horses, and the knight goes over and pats them down here and there, uh, and then pulls out some coins, hands it to the man, and uh, walks back out the side door. Not the door he came in? No, the door he came in, yes. Then I make a hustle to get either around the corner or like around the corner of the window, whatever would be out of sight. Yeah, you're out of sight. Hmm. He makes it out, and then he starts walking back down towards the way he came from. And I'm around the corner? Yeah, yeah you're around the other corner. Uh, I I uh, soccer mom stride, uh, power walk. Mm -hmm. But then I give it like a 10 strides, and then I slow down to a normal pace, walking, you know, the other direction or whatever. Okay. You, you lose track of him then. You guys like split, go in different directions. Yeah. Um, Ryan and Jen. 
What are you doing um, this time? I'm gonna, since it's night time, you're telling me I won't most likely see the items, right? Uh, no, you can. It'll just be more difficult. Your check okay. will be higher. And then you'll be um, going around at night in the, the, the wilderness. So I'm gonna do this, but I'm also gonna, if I see an animal, I'm gonna try to speak with the animal. Okay. Uh, what are you, so what are you doing exactly? Uh, basically, my end goal is to ask the animals if they saw the plant by describing it properly to them. Okay, so what type of poison are you looking for? Uh, something to kill someone over time. It can take even days or hours. I don't care. Mm. I thought you guys said slow-acting poisons were stupid. Well, now they're you're, great. You're stupid, Neil. <laughs> 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 Snap call on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> think debilitating, but like for the heart, and it takes a long time. Yeah. Like hours. Hours. Okay. Um, <laughs> the poison of never poop again. You'll <laughs> never poop again. Permanently constipated. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a way to go. That's brutal. Okay, you give me a an herbalism check. Actually, I think that's just D twenty plus one hundred, right? D twenty plus whatever herbalism score check, is, yeah. which might be a hundred. I don't know. It's actually, yeah. D twenty plus four twenty. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you roll? Uh, Why don't I see it? No. no not yet. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Um, is this an help to ask animals? No, no, so what I'm going to say is that at first, you're not sure of what poisons you could find in this region. You're not, you're like, I don't know what plants grow here. I'm just going to have to walk around and take a look at different stuff. Okay. Okay. So you go out at night and start looking for this stuff? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where it is a forest. So there are, there's all sorts of shit all in the forest. All sorts of lovely plants that you can find here and there. Um, I won't go too deep. Trying to That's what... <laughs> this is uh, right at the time as the corn is going like this within the broth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are start. You're walking around looking for stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm being careful while looking. Yeah, you're being careful. Um, just, uh, you said you were going to speak with animals. Which animal? Or what well, type of animal are you going to speak with? Well, do I like what do I see? Uh, there are birds about that you can hear chirping in the trees. Most you, what race are you? You're human. Yeah. Okay, so you're just walking by moonlight, and it is the first day of a cycle. So it is a new moon. Um, it's pretty dark out. Oh crap. Um, but you know, there's starlight. Uh, but in the trees, it's really hard to see things. So. You don't see any creatures about, but you do hear birds chirping. All um, right, I'm gonna, hmm? I'm gonna guess speak with animals. Yeah. All right. Oof, it is cast. You may not speak with animals. Yeah. Hello there, birds. <laughs> ah, who are you? Ah, I'm Jackery. I'm a shaman. I'm looking for a plant. Okay. Yes. What's your name? Featherbutt! What? Featherbutt! Featherbutt! It's a cool Feather name! Butt. Oh, Featherbutt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a cool name! So, uh, have you seen any of insert the description of the plant here? <laughs> Around here? Um, so you're asking for. I'm gonna say you're asking for type M. No, uh, type. Da, 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 where was it? I poison. It takes no, no. Where to go? There was one that did hours. Here we go. Type H poison, which is an ingested poison, like you'd eat it. It takes. Uh, no, we're gonna do G. Type G. It takes two to twelve hours to on to take effect, and if the person fails their saving throw, they take twenty damage, which is more than enough to kill your normal person who's not like an advanced level fighter or something. Okay. Yes. Yeah, fine. I guess. Yeah. Um. So I talk about the plans for that. I'm Do you know where type M poison is? <laughs> yes. I am looking for a type M poison. Birdie, G. Birdie. G, G. Oh, type G. G. Yeah, type G, G poison. Um, 
the the bird goes, Bruh! I don't know. What's it look like? Then I describe the plant. <laughs> well, Neil, you know what type of plant I'm looking yeah, for? Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. you describe yeah, it, it to him. I can make it up if you want. <laughs> Go ahead, make it up. What's the plant look like? Looking for flowers with yellow petals and little purple dots. Purple dots, purple dots, purple dots. Purple dots, burp. <laughs> there are yellow dots over there. Yellow dots? Then I'll look, is that it? I, you can't even see the bird. Oh. Yellow dots, purple dots. <laughs> Purple dots. <laughs> Have you They're seen any? Yellow dots. I see yellow dots. Lots of yellow dots. Hmm. Any other creatures around here? I, I screamed that. Yellow dots. Yellow dots. And then he flies off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm walking around being like, hello. Hello. And animal. Um, I need you to do. do, do, do. To make me a perception check. Um, it is nighttime. It is like pitch black. So I want you to give me like a minus 10 on it. Because it is dark. 11. 11. All right. You cannot see this thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This is a terrible uh, idea. A moment before it hits, you hear a... Row! And a beast leaps at you from the darkness. Um catching oh you by God. surprise. This, this Jen, just Dr. attack dies. the darkness. We gotta have that moment once in roleplay. Just, you attack the darkness. Um, <laughs> but Jen, before it, if, I oh, can't okay. say anything before it jumps on me? I, like if no, it's you're, you're completely, you're taken by surprise. Okay. You're like walking through the woods and all of a sudden there's like Rah! and something's like, li like leaping towards you and you're like, ah! Actually, what does okay. it say, Neil? Because she understands it. Yeah, um, what does it say? She actually doesn't understand it. Speak with animals. Interesting. Dun, dun, dun. Oh god, this is terrible. I'm dead. Yeah, it must be I got, magical. I got it's the fucking 18, unicorn. I got 18 AC, Neil. 18 AC? Yeah. From what? Where, what are your sources of AC? Plate mail. She does <gasps> have that plate. Yes. She's the only shaman to be walking around in plate mail, which <laughs> she like died it's not of brown. Plate, though. Though. It's th you mean three quarter plate is what yeah. you're saying, right? Plate. Um, but one of that is from Dex. You don't get your Dex bonus on a surprise roll. So it's 17 AC. Um, I don't have Dex. You have a plus one bonus from Dex from your 15 dexterity. No, that's Lily. No, what I have 12 dexterity. She has 12 Dex. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, looking I'm just... wrong character. Nope. And it's nope, usually nope. like nine because she's stoned, AC. too. So it's like, yeah. And I'm not high for once, too. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jockery's character sheet. Oh, she also has a shield, but I guess if it's yeah. surprise, she wouldn't have that in front, right? Yeah. So your th your armor is just no, your armor is seven, and then the shield brings it to eight, right? Yeah. The okay. shield is plus one, I think. Two yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you um. Uh, no, it, wait, 17 AC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are missed once, and you are double crit the second. Holy shit, the I'm going to die from this stupid trip. <laughs> I'm alone. There's no way I'm going to do this. Um, what you, does it look like, Neil? I knew it was dumb to do this. Yet. I'll, I'll tell you in a moment. Jen, make me a saving throw versus death, and I will roll from damage. Potion of invisibility. Roll good, Jen. Go. Uh -huh. D20. Does D20? Uh, D20, yeah. That's a pass. Yeah. All right, there you go. No ill critical effects. You cannot rip off my head or something. Cannot rip off your head. Nor arm, nor leg. Okay, rolling for damage here. Double crit is 2, oh 4, 6, uh, 12, and 6 is what? 18. 8 damage. Holy shit, I can die like in the next turn? It's ridiculous. 9 HP. Take, yeah. Um, and you see two glowing yellow eyes staring at you in the face as, like, this spiked paw, like, cracks across your, uh, your throat and chest, knocking you backwards a few feet. Um, you regain your footing, and I need you to roll for initiative. The Cheshire Cat, or however you say that. Cheshire. Cheshire. Yeah. I can I it. run? You can do whatever you want. I'm or not that far from the village, or am I super? Uh, you're not terribly far. You can still see lights from the town. How slow am I, though? 
your movement rate, is, are you encumbered at all? Yeah. What, uh, what, how much are you carrying total? 66. Okay, so... So I'm at base encumbrance. If she admits no, no, to corn rust, would you allow her to be more so I'm at light. Yeah, I'm at light encumbrance. So yeah. you're moving at movement speed <laughs> 10, I want to say? Yeah. Um, roll for initiative, Jen. And what are you doing? Shit. What are you doing? And I cannot cast things, right? You can cast whatever you want. But if it but, hits you, it might disrupt your casting. So I can't cast things. Uh, you do, but tell me what you, roll for initiative and tell me what you're going to do. Otherwise, you're just going to lose your turn. Because you don't have like five minutes to sit here and think about what you're going to do. Like a creature is attacking Wait, just you. one question. If I try to cast something and it rolls after me, like, oh my god, I can't phrase my things. Uh, does, it get, roll, does it get an attack of opportunity? If it's in melee range of you, when so you ca is. start casting your spell, it gets an attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, are you, we standing in long grass and stuff? It's a forest. The grass is not too terribly long. It's about uh, ankle height. So, like, entangle wouldn't work? Or, like, would I know? Entangle would work in this grass, probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? I'm going to cast entangle. All right. Roll for initiative. Holy shit, this is terrible. I'm going to die. Okay. The the creature walks up to you again. Can I talk, though, or I can't talk? Not when you're casting a spell. And between the rounds, I couldn't. And when I got attacked, I couldn't. You can, at the end of the round, I'll let you say a few words. What do you say? I said, please stop. Why are you attacking me? Please stop. I'm friendly. 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 <laughs> All right. It attacks you. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. It's a 12, which is a miss. And, oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's, okay, yeah. It's actually 11. And the other one is a hit. So one miss and one hit as another one of these. You can barely make it out. Uh, it seems to be like this shimmering, dark blue creature um, that you can't quite see where it is. It seems to be in multiple places at once. And in this long paw covered with spikes on the bottom, uh, comes and smacks you across the arm for three damage. A displacer. Um, Jen, yeah. give me a, uh, a a saving throw versus spell to see if it um, disrupts 20. your spell. Boom. Your spell is not disrupted. Entangle Jen goes with on. these rolls, 19 and So 20. I will <laughs> not put Entangle on me, by the way, Neil. The goal is anything but Entangle myself. Okay. I'm figuring we're just two here, so it should be pretty clear whatever I'm standing is the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Entanglement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you cast entangle in the whole area. So if the displacement beast is <laughs> anywhere, the fucking thing is stuck. <laughs> is the goal. It's not like I'm trying to directly attack him. I don't care I, I, where it is. Jen, Jen, I understand. <laughs> just, entangle. Just make sure we're like we're we're uh, each other. Okay. Um, initiative for next round. I and run. You, you run. <laughs> I run. Yeah. Okay. Roll for initiative. Help me, animals of the nature. I also say that. <laughs> Grandpa. What do you roll for? How do I uh, roll for running? Is it plus three? Uh, D10 plus three. Five. Whoa. Five. You go first. I run. All right, you turn and you fucking run. As uh, I scream, animals of the nature, help me stop this vile creature. <laughs> help. I mean, so I guess you, you don't just turn. You you stumble back a few steps so it doesn't get an attack of opportunity yeah, on you. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you start running. Um, okay. The next, uh, that round, you hear the, the creature going, at you. And I reply, Rah! as I run away. All right. Uh, round after that, give me an initiative roll again. Seven. Seven. Okay. You go first, and you just, you keep, keep running. running. And I need to do math in my head. Uh, As I'm screaming, help, villagers, help, and animals of the forest. 
How many birds are like flocking around her right now, like just swarming, creating a protective, protective force shield that cannot be penetrated? Like, does anyone want to randomly help me? A fucking all squirrel around. picks up a pine cone and shakes off the leaves and goes, I have your back. Okay, so you keep running. Uh, you're running for like two or three minutes when you hear this, like, uh, the, the, pat, the soft padding of this creature behind you. How far out is she? Or he? She, uh, Jockery, I mean, it, you can see the village from where you are, but it's, you know, it's like a, a 10 minute run. Holy shit. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, you gotta go out l at least into the forest to get some, to get where these things are. And there's some open ground between where the forest ends and the town begins. And I don't and, hear this. Jockery's not yelling loud enough or anything like that. No, I'm, loud. I'm screaming, though. Yeah. You're, you're screaming. Let me just um, check my spells real quick. It's gonna be I like the image of encumbered three-quarter plate shaman going, ah! Help, Help me, animals! <laughs> you just hear these different random bird calls and, like, <laughs> snarling. Somewhere a guard is like, fucking kids, go in the woods and get high. <laughs> yeah. And they yell at the squirrels. 